Hello and welcome back to another edition of The Daily Shave. My name is John, and today I'll be bringing you a shave with Ariana Evans' Asian Pear. There we go. You can see that. So, along with the soap, we have the matching splash. And for my razor, I have the West Coast Shaving Live Head designed by Charcoal Goods. I never know how to show this thing. So I've got a few shaves with these. If you see my last few daily shaves, really enjoying it. That has an Astra SP blade, Astra SP blade on its, um, I believe on its third shave. And then for the brush, we'll be using this synthetic brush, the Honeycomb. Fantastic brush, really love it. And let's see here. I will show, you can see a little bit of kind of the lather from my last time I used it, but it is a darker soap. So uh, some folks have no problems with uh, the vanillin and some soaps uh, dyeing their brushes. But whenever I see kind of this kind of chocolatey brown color, um, I usually reach for a synthetic just so, you know, the odd chance that uh, one of my favorite badgers might get uh, permanently discolored. So. Another reason why we're going synthetic today, besides just you know, enjoying this brush. All right, so I'm wetting the, wetting the handle, rather wetting the knot here. I have about two days beard growth and I just finished showering. So face is kind of ready. Uh, it's one of my favorite ways to prep before a shave. So hair is drying and a little on the fluffy side, but we're not talking about pomade or anything like that today. So I'm gonna go for uh, roughly about 30 second load here. And I'll talk a little bit about the soap while I'm doing that. So here we go. So Asian Pear is made by Ariana and Evans. Um, the artis artisan behind that is Peter Chakalis. And Peter makes some wonderful shaving products. He himself was a hobbyist. He was a YouTuber even um, before getting into um, selling soaps and shaving products and now making his own. And this specific scent, Asian Pear, uh, the base itself is a slight tweak on their tallow tel formula. So I don't know if, uh, I don't think any new ingredients were added, but I think some of the ratios were tweaked. And when you do that, you can, you can still even improve um, or change the qualities of a shave soap um, without kind of introducing um, brand new ingredients. So this is in that kind of modified base. I think I've seen a call like the 1.5 or something. So that's quite pasty. So I'll be sure to add plenty of water there. All right, so just wetting the face. Got a pretty heavy load on here, so we'll be building the lab there for a bit. I do want to say that I respect um, your time, uh, you guys watching this video, but I think in my last few videos, I might have rushed the process a bit as far as lathering goes. And today, you know, I don't want to shortchange you in the actually, in the actual um, kind of the product information, what this lather looks like when properly hydrated. So we'll see. In the end, if it took too much time, just let me know. Sometimes to save a little bit of time, I do load the brush beforehand, but let's just say trial and error. All right, so we talked about the soap base. So it is that updated tallow formula. The formula before was already excellent, mind you.
and this scent is, I guess let's call it a flanker to the very popular Asian plum. And where this one differs in the, in the official description, but I do want to confirm through my own testing that it is a less sweet, less floral version of Asian, uh, Asian plum. Now I won't go through all this, uh, I won't just read off the scent notes to you. I know I usually like to provide that. So instead of reading it off to you, uh, I'm gonna include it in the description below. So if you wanna see the note breakdown, it'll be there. I'm definitely gonna talk about the scent, but I'd rather share with you on camera um, what my nose is getting. So besides the dial back florals and sweetness, Really what this scent has going, at least um, for my enjoyment, is the very distinct note of pear. And pear is not used too much. There is one other mm, scent that comes to mind, which, you know, is actually offered by West Coast Shaving, and that is Pear Burr Shop. So a uh, cooling barbershop type scent with the added, the really unique note of pear. But this one is paired by, <laughs> this pair is paired with uh, kind of richer, uh, warmer notes. So, you know, you get a little bit of tobacco, some sandalwood. And it makes it for, it makes for a very, you know, ma masculine cologne scent. But, I'll just say that, the pear, the pear note that's in this, it is, it's not candy-like, it's more natural sm smelling. And it does have sweetness to it, but in a way where it's not like super candy, super saccharine the pear here is naturalistic and more like a ripe pear. So the, the pears have softened a bit. So I've been working this leather for a bit now while I've been yakking away. And I think this can still take more water. It's definitely not the, the pastiness it was before. And this is not gonna be super voluminous, but I know I can get, get um, this leather at least a little, uh, some more sheen to it. but it is fairly low volume. All right, I feel like that's looking much better. Okay. Let me rinse my hands and we'll get to the shave. So once again, we're using the live head today. There you go. Very kind of unique shape as far as the top cap. Should the razor, let's just say the entire razor head is, is a unique shape there. Hopefully you can hear some of that audio feedback. This one definitely tells you that it's, you know, cutting down the hairs. All right, so going back to the scent. So Asian Plum, um, I believe Peter has said that it is the best selling soap from a &D. And that one was my favorite in the lineup. 
that was until I got using got to using Asian Pear, and I will say pretty solidly that uh, Asian Pear has overtaken for me at least um, that top spot. That's not to say I'm not gonna use Asian Plum. Don't get don't get me wrong. I still love that scent, but when I smell this, you know, I I just want to go back to it time and time again. And the scent strength, uh, like most of A&E's soaps, um, it is strong. Off the tub and lathered, I would say this is at least a 7 out of 10. That's a good first pass. I'm gonna rinse off and we'll get to lathering again and going with the against the grain pass. I do want to add that the slickness on this soap is just excellent. When I rinse off, it does take look, I have a little bit of extra effort to rinse off the soap residue. And in my previous uses, the post shave in this is excellent as well. But yeah, so Asian Pear definitely knocked out Asian Plum as my favorite soap from Andy. And it's funny that, you know, I do, I do like testing soaps from, from different artisans. I enjoy a number of them. And when you kind of stick with one artisan for a bit, I feel like, you know, especially if they're um, making their own scents, Um, I think you can start to notice certain styles, kind of like with your favorite musician, right? There's certain, um, their melodies might take on a certain um, common theme. And I know in my experience with um, A&D soaps and just uh, the sense that, that Peter goes for, um, I often find kind of, which are probably his favorite notes, which are like tobacco, uh, tobacco, sandalwood, I think leather often makes in the mix. I don't think that one's in this one. But tobacco, sandalwood, um, some form of sweetness, whether it's from a fruit or from some other scent note. And the scent strength, really on any scent that you get um, from a and it's going to be strong. I'm sorry, we're going against the grain now. So I don't want to assume that everyone watching has tried a soap from a &D, but let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite. And I mean, if we all choose the same favorite, that's totally fine. I mean, there's such things as bestsellers for a reason, right? <clears throat>
but there are so many scent options there. Um, I would love to hear what your favorite is and kind of add, you know, add soaps and scents to my watch list. And if you haven't tried A and D and it's been on your on your, on your watch list, Asian pear, put it near the top. If 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 you take a look at you know the scent notes, if what I'm saying sounds intriguing to you, I would definitely rank this very high up. This and Asian plum. I think it's a great representative of what this artisan has to offer. All right. Gotta grab a towel. Just give me one second. All right, so I am doing this, uh, or I'm rather doing and recording the shave at night. And one thing I do want to mention is in that sense strength, that seven, maybe even eight out of ten, as I'm still, you know, getting wafts of this, you know, of this great scent. The aftershave is just as strong. And there's a lot of great ingredients in here. Um, you can see it's uh, a milky consistency, and I forget which exact ingredient is contributing to that. But again, I'll, I'll leave the, um, the ingredient breakdown so you can see what is in this aftershave. But it just leaves your skin feeling great. And the other thing is it's very strong too. So it's so scent strength department in both the soap and the splash. Um, you know, are they, they're not slacking at all. So I don't want to do too much because um, my wife does prefer if I, I wear a strong scent to bed. So I don't want to go too much on this. Now, I've mentioned before, sometimes um, you'll get kind of, you, you'll get different notes when you use the splash because the, the soap base tends to mute uh, notes in the, you know, in, in the overall fragrance. And this one, instead of straight pear in the aftershave, it has an overall kind of fruitier, I don't know, kind of a, just a general fruity sweetness to it, to me. Still really nice. But it's funny that off the, the you know off the tub and in the lather I'm getting more straight pear as, as opposed to like a, a mix of fruits. So just want to note that. All right. So excellent shave with this soap. Again, we use A and D Asian pear. If you tried this one and want to leave your impressions, I'd love to hear them. Again, you can leave a comment below. And I'm just uh, really thankful that you guys joined me for today's shave. I hope you found this review, you know, helpful to you if you are looking into um, in, into this scent. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please, you know, please subscribe to the West Coast Shaving ch uh, Channel so you can catch all the daily shavers. Uh, if you want to see more videos from me, I also have my own channel over at YouTube.com/LatherHog, also on Instagram at instagram.com slash latherhog. Well, I want to thank you guys so much again for joining me and I'll catch you next time. Take care.